quantum computing is one of the most exciting, futuristic concepts in modern technology. Its potential is so vast that it almost feels like something out of a science fiction novel. However, the reality of quantum computing is quickly turning into a profound shift in how we approach problems, unlock discoveries, and even safeguard information. Imagine a computer so powerful that it can perform calculations with mind-boggling speed and complexity, solving problems that would take today's supercomputers millennia to process. This is not the distant future, it's happening now. But with such immense power comes an equally immense responsibility, and the implications of quantum computing are both exciting and terrifying. At the cutting edge of this technological revolution are the pioneers who are pushing the boundaries of what is possible, such as researchers, engineers, and companies like IBM, Google, and startups like Regetti. Their work is shaping the future of quantum computing, bringing us closer to realizing machines that can perform computations in ways traditional computers never could. However, quantum computing also presents a dilemma that humanity must face. How do we balance the potential for great good with the inherent risks that come with such groundbreaking technology? One of the most dramatic examples of the risks of quantum computing recently surfaced when NASA shut down one of its quantum computers after an unexpected incident. This event raised alarms about the unpredictable nature of quantum systems and their potential to alter our understanding of both technology and security. For instance, these systems don't just solve problems. They can create new problems, especially when it comes to security and data protection. The intersection of quantum computing with artificial intelligence, AI, only heightens these concerns, offering both promise and peril in equal measure. In a world where innovation seems to be racing ahead with each passing day, it feels like we're always on the brink of something extraordinary. But as we push the boundaries of science and technology, we also risk pushing the limits of what we can safely control. This brings us to a profound crossroads. Quantum computing could be the breakthrough that changes the world for the better, or it could be a Pandora's box we're not quite ready to open. One of the biggest players in this conversation is Elon Musk, the billionaire visionary, who sees the marriage of quantum computing and AI as an unprecedented opportunity. For Musk, this fusion has the potential to catapult humanity into a new age of scientific discovery, healthcare, and technological advancements. But, as with any great leap forward, there are also significant dangers to consider. Let's break it down. In simple terms, quantum computers use something called quantum bits, or qubits. These are the fundamental units of information in a quantum system, and they are fundamentally different from the bits we use in regular computers. A regular computer bit can only exist in one of two states, zero or one. It's like a light switch that is either off or on. But qubits are different. They can exist in multiple states at once due to the principle of superposition. This allows them to perform calculations at an exponentially faster rate than regular computers. Imagine a computer that can think in parallel on a massive scale, solving complex problems simultaneously rather than sequentially. That's the power of quantum computing. However, there's a catch. Qubits are incredibly delicate. To function correctly, they need to be kept in a state of extreme isolation, which requires extremely cold temperatures and near-perfect conditions. If a qubit is disturbed, it can lose its state and effectively become useless. To overcome this, quantum computers are housed in specialized environments, often large, complex setups involving vacuum chambers, supercooled environments, and advanced shielding to protect the qubits. These first-generation quantum computers look quite different from the sleek laptops and desktops we're familiar with. They are large and bulky, requiring significant infrastructure to operate, and still very much a work in progress. The field of quantum computing dates back to the 1980s when physicist Richard Feynman, one of the pioneers in the field, first proposed the idea that quantum mechanics could be used to simulate physical systems more efficiently than traditional computers. Traditional computers, he argued, are inherently limited when it comes to simulating complex quantum phenomena. As a result, he suggested that a new kind of computer, based on the principles of quantum mechanics, would be needed to model these systems effectively. His groundbreaking ideas laid the foundation for the development of quantum computers. 
quantum computers exploit several principles of quantum mechanics, such as superposition, entanglement, and interference. Superposition allows qubits to exist in multiple states simultaneously, enabling quantum computers to explore many possible solutions to a problem all at once. Entanglement, another quantum phenomenon, allows qubits to become linked in such a way that the state of one qubit can influence the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. This unique property makes quantum computers incredibly powerful at solving problems involving large amounts of data and complex variables. These advances have major implications across several fields, including space exploration. Imagine being able to simulate an entire space mission with unprecedented accuracy, modeling everything from the trajectory of spacecraft to the behavior of distant celestial bodies. Quantum computers could revolutionize the way we plan space missions, enabling more precise calculations and discoveries that were previously impossible with classical computing. They could also design new materials that are better suited for extreme environments, like the vacuum of space, or even improve the performance of propulsion systems. Furthermore, quantum computing could be used to analyze vast amounts of data from telescopes and satellites, offering us deeper insights into the universe than ever before. NASA has already begun exploring the potential of quantum computing for space exploration, but there are significant challenges ahead, particularly in terms of security. Quantum computing could also present new threats to cybersecurity. With the ability to break current encryption systems, Quantum computers pose a major risk to sensitive information, from financial transactions to military secrets. Today's encryption relies on the fact that certain mathematical problems, like factoring large prime numbers, are incredibly difficult for traditional computers to solve. But quantum computers can perform these calculations exponentially faster. This means that systems designed to protect our data could become obsolete in a world dominated by quantum computers. To combat this, researchers are working on post-quantum cryptography, new encryption methods that are resistant to attacks from quantum computers. While progress is being made, it's clear that the security landscape will need to evolve rapidly to keep pace with quantum advancements. But the real question is, what happens when quantum computing is combined with artificial intelligence? This is where things start to get both fascinating and potentially dangerous. AI already has the ability to learn and adapt at an astonishing pace, and quantum computing could supercharge this process, making AI systems more capable and sophisticated than ever before. With quantum computers, AI could process vast amounts of data in real time, leading to more accurate predictions and better decision-making in fields like healthcare, finance, and even law enforcement. But there are also darker possibilities. Imagine an AI system capable of processing data at the speed of quantum computers, what kind of decisions would it make? And how would we ensure that these decisions align with human values? One of the most unsettling possibilities is the development of deep fakes. These hyper-realistic AI-generated images and videos are already a major concern, but with quantum computing, they could become far more convincing and harder to detect. Imagine a video showing a world leader making inflammatory statements or declaring war on another country. With the power of quantum computers and AI, these deep fakes could be indistinguishable from reality. In a world where misinformation spreads rapidly online, this could have catastrophic consequences. We could see entire political systems destabilized, economies thrown into turmoil, and international relations torn apart, all from a video that was entirely fabricated. As if that's not concerning enough, quantum computers could also be used to hack into systems in ways that were once considered impossible. Today's encryption methods, like those used to protect military secrets or the infrastructure of critical industries, could be shattered by a sufficiently powerful quantum computer. Hackers, cybercriminals, or even rogue states could use these machines to infiltrate systems and wreak havoc on a global scale. In short, quantum computing could usher in a new era of digital warfare, one where the stakes are far higher than anything we've encountered before. Despite these challenges, there are also incredible opportunities that quantum computing brings, particularly in the fight against climate change. The unprecedented power of quantum computers could be used to model and predict complex environmental systems with far more precision than current models allow. 
by simulating the effects of greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and other environmental factors, quantum computers could provide us with better insights into how to combat global warming and reverse environmental damage. They could also help in the development of new energy-efficient technologies, such as advanced solar cells, or in the discovery of new materials for energy storage. In this way, quantum computing might be the key to unlocking solutions for some of the planet's most pressing problems. At the same time, the emergence of quantum computing raises an important ethical question, who controls this technology? If quantum computing becomes as powerful as predicted, it could change the balance of power in the world. Countries and corporations that dominate this technology could wield unprecedented influence, while those left behind may be at a disadvantage. The potential for misuse is enormous, whether it's for espionage, cyber attacks, or even surveillance. As we venture further into the quantum age, society will need to address these challenges head on, ensuring that this technology is used for the benefit of all rather than for the enrichment of a few. Quantum computing is still in its infancy, with many challenges to overcome before it becomes mainstream. Currently, quantum computers are housed in research labs with only a handful of companies and organizations, such as IBM, Google, and Regetti, developing and testing these machines. They are far from ready for widespread use, and many hurdles remain in terms of scalability, error correction, and cost. However, the potential of quantum computing is so great that companies are already exploring ways to make this technology accessible to the public through cloud-based quantum computing services. In the near future, you could potentially rent access to a quantum computer, using it for tasks that require immense computing power, without ever having to own one yourself. Whether or not quantum computing will live up to its enormous potential remains to be seen. However, one thing is certain, it's not going away. As we continue to advance in the field of quantum computing, we must remain vigilant, ensuring that we navigate this new frontier with caution, responsibility, and a commitment to the greater good. The future is uncertain, but quantum computing offers a glimpse into a world where the impossible becomes possible. It's up to us to decide how we will shape that future.